Welcome to day 13 of Vlogtober. Today I am going to do a quick craft room, office, gym, cat room tour. We share, I share this room with my husband. That's his office over there and his music room. It's dark, but you see he's got his guitars hung up there and it's a mess right now because we just had um, pie night and the band played. And so anyway, that all needs to be cleaned up. So I'll stand from this view and then I'll give you kind of a quickie tour. What's going on? Miss River's going to help me. So there's the door to come in, and there's a big closet over here that we share. Excuse me, sweet girl. Here we go. Um, which is fairly organized. There's some stuff I've got to put away, but I keep all of my stamps in those binders, and then the wooden stamps are in these bins, and I have all my planner stuff, um, planners to be used, specialty paper kinds of things, folders and stuff there. And then I have hung up here on the door some of my punches. These are like just the circle and um, edge edge ones, edge ones, if I can talk. Um, and this is like some cards that I've made just for inspiration, some knitting stuff. Um, this is as adhesives, ink pads, um, my book binding and laminating. These are some old um, photo albums, some birth, some Christmas presents I'm hiding in here for my grandsons. Um, and oops, I'm sorry, River, I just stepped on her. This is all my vinyl stuff in this crate. Um, these are also all old photo albums and journals. This is photo albums. This is stuff to be made. I have some, um, mugs for my mug press. Thank you. Don't do that to the carpet. Um, and then my husband's guitars are in here. And, uh, a sewing machine. This is the cat's automatic feeder when we go out of town. Cat's litter box, litter. Um, and then I have ephemera, pens, twine and trim, my um, Stampin' Up stamps, the ones that are in those nice cases. And these are just things like ephemera, some projects, some tools, my markers and paint kinds of things. This is a pile of stuff I need to put away. Um, anyway, so that's just kind of, oh, and then over here, this is wrapping paper and gift bags on this door over here. So kind of a mess, but an organized mess. And I've, I've gone at this a couple times now and I'm not sure how to make it any better. This um, is all my washi tape. And this rack is um, from Target. It actually was on a shelf to hold um, ribbon. Uh, so they were selling ribbon at Christmas time. And I saw the box, empty box. And I'm like, oh, I think that would work great as a shelf. And I asked at the store before I took it and they said I could have it. And so look at Christmas time at the end of the season when they're just about, everything is almost gone and see if they have one of those. It's probably about time for me to get a new one. This one's kind of starting to bow down a little bit. But this is one of the cat's things. And this is a, obviously a shelf for the printer. This one is Crystal's things and this one is my things. And so this is all of my 12 by 12 paper and my six by sixes. All my solid cardstock, solid colored cardstock. Um, this is scraps, and I store this in little file folders by color. So if I just need to, one little piece of blue or green, they're in here by color, so I can find them. Envelopes. These are some other punches that are shapes, interesting shapes. The birthday cards. I did a video on that recently. This is stuff that I'm like using, but I don't want it all on my desk. And on my desk, I've been working on this too, and I can't seem to find a way to to fix this but anyway this is the whole wall i love arrows so there's my arrows and so my various headphones um this is a drawer out of my a couple of houses ago one of the kitchen drawers that didn't end up needing and so i painted it pink you can't even see the cute butterfly handle but this is the stuff that i grab often my tape and my um paper cutter stamping apparatus one of those everybody has one of those right um, I got this little shelf at Target, and then I've got the light boards hanging up there, the banner from my friend. Um, and I have this as a piece of um, desktop from Ikea I got in the clearance section. And I'm using these cube um, drawer, or not cube drawer, cube uh, shelf things to hold it up. And so I have um, some stuff in there, and there's a, a drawer thing under there with like some sewing stuff because I don't do that very often. That's the cat's hut. And actually the yoga block, I'm short. So when I sit on my chair and the cat's on my lap, I usually have to have my, on my, on my tippy toes to hold her up. So I put the yoga block there to put my feet on. So I'm not on tippy toes when I do that. Typical cart. 
my scripture study stuff in the top, stickers for planners and, and um, sticky notes and stuff. I've got an entire bucket of glasses, <laughs> reading glasses, a little bit of candy, pens, the scentsy stuff. I'm going to come over here. So that's the, the whole desk thing. And then next to the desk is the gym, which I did a video on that a few days ago. So I have all my, my weights and my treadmill and my yoga ball and my family to look out when I'm running. And this is actually an old picture that was hanging in my great grandmother's house. It's, it's when I was a kid and would go to visit, I just would always make up a story around it in my mind. So I love that picture. And then there's these fun shelves or fun cutouts, uh, built-ins, built-ins over here. And I wanted them to be really pretty when I bought the house, but I have too much stuff and I'm not sure how to organize them to make them pretty, but this is my, kind of my cutting station. And I share this room with my daughter-in-law, so her things are in here too. So this is all of my dies and embossing folders are in that basket. And have a Cricut Joy in the uh, case back there because I take that with me when we go on the camper. And there's my um, Spellbinder, Play-Doh for the boys, my Cricut, my Mink Machine, Laminator, and then these are Crystal's machines over here. And this is one of the places the cat plays. And then I've got some things my my kids have made back here and my grandbabies and some various memorabilia up there. And then my mug press and a few mugs that I've made. And then, like I said, that's my husband's office. He works from home. So he's over there. And then there's a, this I made a long time ago. I got this frame at an auction or garage sale. No, I think I garbage picked that one actually, but I've gotten a bunch of them from garage sales or flea markets kinds of thing. And I just stapled the ribbon on the back of it. And then I uh, painted it this color. I tried to paint it to match this table that the boys use it's in the middle of the room but it's not it's kind of off but I can fix that later and then I just pin all my favorite current pictures of everybody up and so this is all my mug press and fusible ink infusible ink stuff this cat's stuff and they just have a bookcase because I mean everybody has books right and the cat scratching post and there's her great and we're all the way back around to the closet again so and there's River Anyway, so that's my craft room. Quick tour of that. Oh, I guess it, this is Crystal and the boys crafting stuff. I've got the cat food here and then paper for the boys to write on. We like to unroll that on this table here. It's in the middle of the room for them to come and come and do stuff on. And then I use that table all the time too. So there is a tour of my craft room. So thank you for joining me for Vlogtober today and we'll see you tomorrow.